Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen. No. It may fairly break silence on the 83, 83 trillion Naira stamp duty fraud allegations against him. Says only 370 billion Naira was collected in CCS and that the cabal give reasons, explain why the cabal are against him. My wonderful people, now waiting they happen be this so Godwin they may fail, they don't show, they don't ready to fight the cabal. All the people that they raise tension before say where well, say they go deal with Godwin they may fail. He will see himself. All of the don't you don't be like they just hide though. Be like all of them just go inside silent mood because the guy don't come and is defending himself before the very cabal who had we are trying to you know they were trying to intimidate him at some point we heard he was already seeking asylum in the united kingdom you know in case uh, water passed gary him and his family go fee you know go fee as con okay they go fee wrong go you know say no 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 jack by the rain no? mm. because people just they see the way things they be for the country people just they wonder say ah, ah what's going on here why are things the way they are i mean what can i do so this is uh, what is happening. Godwin Emefili exposes the cabal. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Emefili breaks silence on the 83 trillion Naira stamp duty fraud allegations the cabal has against him. Says only 370 billion was collected in CCS and that the cabal are uh, after him for this purpose because they want to take over the Go central bank governor godwin emefili has finally broken his silence on the allegations that the apex bank withhold 389 trillion naira realized from stamp duty revenue the governor on tuesday expressed surprise that such conversation will come up considering the rates of the banking system he said during the monetary policy committee meeting that the said amount is big was far bigger than the total asset of the entire banking industry in the country so those who are speaking on this regard do not really understand what they are saying. How can I do something that is even more than is more that is even more than what we have currently as a whole? The Apex Bank do not have up to that amount even in assets and cash. So where is this coming from? Those who are saying this are saying it to get me out of the way so they can get their own people in place because they want to ensure that they are the ones who controls the finances of the country but i will not allow such to happen i am responsible for what goes on in cb in the central bank i've been given this responsibility and i will hold on to it very well and ensure that nobody takes advantage of the people and take advantage of nigerians our finances needs to be kept and everything that is needed to put our nation in place i will work at it immediately Emefeli said this money is so large that I cannot even begin to imagine. The total deposit on the banking system is $44.9 trillion. So how then is this possible that stamp duty alone is $89 trillion when the deposit of the bank is $44.49 trillion? So when it becomes a story everywhere, we went into our records, to told the banking supervision, banking permanent payment system to go into the system and rank out the total amount that has been collected on stamp duty from 2016 to date. We told our people in banking supervision to contract the bank, let the bank give them the, give them from their record how much they have collected from 2016 to date and tell the bank to sign on their head to sign it on their letter headed paper so that the amount they have collected on stamp duty from 2016 to date can be revealed to all the report that we have in cbn is that the stamp duty collected to date is 370 billion this is public accounts we owe nigerian public public accountability the, out of that, the Federal Inland Revenue or the Ministry of Finance has disbursed to the Federation Account Allocations commit, commit, Committee the sum of 
billion and the balance from that to the cbn is 144 billion we did calculate we did the calculation and the highest collected for the oldest bank in nigeria first bank collected 71 billion in seven years i truly don't know where this is coming from i know that they are aiming to take over and to hold on to this country but will not give them that opportunity because this country belongs to us will not give them because they want to oversee and take charge and and mess around with our finances we know what their plans are and we are ready we're waiting for them we will not allow this to continue so this is what is happening this is what is going on and every single person is watching to see how things are playing out so Gordon emefeli is defending himself saying he does not understand where this is coming from and is ready to you know take the bull by the horn because um, those who are accusing him you know of uh, of not managing the finances or that there were money missing uh, honestly sincerely according to him do not have do not understand themselves he said they do not understand themselves. He said because if they do, they will know the amount that has been collected from 2016 to date. However, he made an allegation that, that these people that are you know accusing him or want to ensure that they tarnish his image are working hard so that they can be the one in charge or bring somebody that they will control and be in charge of Nigeria finances. So these are very difficult times. Yeah, these are things that are happening and every single one of us must begin to understand that the days upon us have come to show that politicians at the end of the day are politicians and most of them, you know, are mostly looking out for things that gives them a kick. They don't care what happens to the, 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 the ordinary man and woman on the streets. What they are aiming for and what they are working for is basically for themselves. And so truly, honestly, sincerely speaking, Nigerians, we must begin to we must begin to rise up and do not allow selfish politicians to 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 govern and to dictate and direct what happens to us. Every single one of us must become wise. Every single one of us must become very careful in dispensing our duty and ensure that none of these people take advantage of us. We must rise up to the occasion. We cannot allow such things to continue to happen. Yes, if whatever we're doing right now, we cannot see the fact that Nigerians, every one of us, you know, we are a, we're a big part and a big part of this. Then how do, where do we go from here? How do we really, you know, understand and begin to put things in place? You see, Godwin Emefeli and the rest of them, they know what they are doing. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.